Um, I was 16 years old. I started cutting hair at the age of 12. I was cutting my own hair. And um, at the age of 16, I visited my mother in uh, Georgia. And I got into my first barber shop. And for the summer, working two and a half months, I was making six, $700 a week. So, you know, being 16, making that type of money, I was just like, yeah, I know exactly what type of job I want to do. Basketball since I was playing basketball since I was like second grade, you know, all the way up until my senior year. And um, when I came down, like I said, to Georgia that time and started cutting hair, when I went back home, I was like, yeah, scratch this basketball, you know. I'm like, you know, I, see, I seen myself going like to college with it, but I was just like, hey, man, you know, you need to just really just focus on this. So that's what I did. Um, I would say uh, a barber named Marcus Harvey, you know, he was a barber, kind of like my mentor that showed me, you know, certain different techniques and different tips. And um, just just seeing that constant work, you know, you got to constantly put in work. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, the main thing, the main word that I stick by is consistency. You know, consistency will take you everywhere you need to go. Story, I, I wouldn't look at it as a, being a failure. Uh, certain stories that might have happened in my life, like different trials, um, I felt like got me to the point where I'm at right now. You know, just being able to um, go through certain things in life, I think helps you get ready for the success that's coming your way. So, you know, any challenges that I might have had or anybody, anybody else might have, you know, I feel like it's just getting you prepped up for that moment. That way, when you do get the success, you can keep it and you can hold it a little bit longer. Continue to stay focused. And I mean, just more focus, if anything, you know, sometimes we all get to that point where we kind of slack off or, you know, we, we might get misled doing different things. I would just tell myself, like, literally stay focused on the prize, you know, trust the process pretty much. I think I was more successful in, um, in the mindset that I had because I was always just like an entrepreneur as far as like, how can I make my business better? So even before like posting stuff on social media, I was always, how can I make this better in the barbershop? How can I be better with customer service? How can I be better with my haircut? So when social media came along, you know, I had a personal page that I had that was family stuff, just random stuff that I would like to post. But uh, I would have clients that would come to me and say, hey, I was looking for a haircut on your page, but I had to go through all your personal stuff. So I didn't like that. I wanted them to feel like they could go to my page and just see strictly business, strictly just nothing but haircuts. And that's what I did. I started on uh, Instagram and I started a, a straight business page and every single haircut that was on there, I wanted it to, to look like a barber magazine page. All right, I would recommend any barbers or stylists if they're trying to build up their social media platform to treat it like a job. Pretty much, you know, going on there, knowing the right times to post, using hashtags, um, you know, being particular about what you post. You know, you don't want to be posting nothing that don't have anything to do with business. You know, make sure that it's about haircuts, uh, your brand, whatever your brand is, and, you know, just be consistent with it. You know, it's an everyday job to post pictures if it's in the morning, evening times, and at night. You know, you just got to stay on it. Right. Yeah, it, it goes right back to trusting the process. You know, like, yes, it's not going to happen overnight. That, that it might not happen the first year, but you have to know, like, eventually, if I'm putting all this work in, something's got to happen. You know, if you're putting great work in, good material out, even if it's not the attention that you're looking for, it might be that one person that sees your work that could take you a thousand places, you know. Anything that you want to do in life, stay consistent with it. You know, if you're consistent at BSing around and just not getting stuff done, the results will show. If you're consistent at constantly being productive, constantly putting yourself in a situation where something can happen, great results will happen. Wow. Um, <laughs> if I could put it anywhere in the world, well, I didn't travel America pretty good. I didn't travel Brazil now a lot. Um, I'm not for sure. I would probably put it in Africa somewhere, like, you know, Hawk got the sauce, you know, yeah. <laughs> Trust the process. You know, I tell people that all the time, you know, we, we get to these points where we get stuck or we feel like maybe this might not be for me. You know, and I feel like if you just trust the process, like anything that you want in life, if you ask for it or you say, hey, I'm going to set my mind on that particular goal and it happens overnight, that's really not for you. You know, I think anything that you really want, 
that comes with like true success, you gotta work for it. You know, you gotta be able to trust that process to say, hey, you know what? If I'm asking for this, it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some work. It's not gonna happen when I want it to happen, but it's gonna take some, you know, just a challenge to get it done, so. Uh, fishing, I love fishing. I love fishing to death. Like if I, I swear if I wasn't cutting hair, I would probably be like a pro angler or something like that, just out fishing every day. In the next five to 10 years, I see myself being retired. I'm 26 right now, and I feel like the work that I'm doing right now and the stuff that I'm trying to build up, my brand and everything, I'm trying to set something up as a legacy, something that I could pass down to my kids and something that they could pass down to their kids. You know, I want something to be like, I'm the first uh, generation of barbers in my family, so I want to be like that one that like set it up for my family as well so they could have something to fall back on.